Okay, for this week's lesson, you of course will need your Power Rock paper. If for some reason you couldn't print it out, you need to pull up the version that you'd like to use on your screen. Okay, um, we're going to start with our scale. You might also want a pencil and your cheat sheet if that's a thing that you have. We're going to start with our minor scale and the rhythm we're going to use kind of goes with the song. So the beat's going to be kind of fast. You can think of it as really slow or really fast depending on how fast you want to tap your foot. We're going to use this as the beat. Da, da, rest. Da, da, rest. Da, da, rest. Okay, so, or if you don't like tapping your foot that fast, T, T, rest. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so whichever of those you like, but our tongue and our hands still move the same. So this is our minor scale. That means it starts on the second note of your cheat sheet. Flutes, bells, and trombone, we're doing C minor. Clarinets and trumpets, we're doing D minor. Okay, so get um, in your instruments up position, and I'll count you in. Here we go. Minor scale, one, two, one, two, ready, go. Rest. 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 Backwards. Rest. 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 That's very much in the style of power rock, which is why we did the scale that way. So now we're going to move on to our um, real power rock paper and go a little further this week. Okay, we need to talk about some special markings that are on your paper that are sounds that you do not make with your instrument. So let's check it out. Um, some of you have this right at measures one, two, three, four, and beyond. Some of you have this starting at measure five, so let's check it out. Um, instead of four beats of you playing your instrument in a measure, we have three sounds and a rest, so let's check it out. How do we tell the difference? Well, it actually says it in words on your paper, but stems down, stomp, stomp. Stem up, clap, and you know what a rest is. And obviously, this is to make the we will rock you sound, right? So it'd be like stomp, stomp, clap, rest. Rest. The rest is really important, important. otherwise it sounds like Okay, and we all know the song, right? So that Whoever needs to play can play. We will, we will rock you. So your stomp, stomp is rock you. That's the speed that we go. So the trick here is you need to look at your actual power rock paper because all the instruments are slightly different. And we need to figure out when to actually pick your instrument up to play. So we're going to work on that in the next part of this video. So don't be afraid of the X's. Just remember, this is actually how drum set parts are written. Stems down, foot, foot, stem up, clap. All right, so let's figure out when we do that in your part of the song. Okay, so now that we talked about all what all those X's mean on your paper, let's review what we did last week so we're ready to put it all together. So we are going to start at measure square, at square 13. It's in a box, it says the word play. And that's where we're starting. So let's review how we're gonna tap our feet. So this song is actually kind of fast. It's so fast that you might not wanna tap your foot on every beat. So I'll show you what we're talking about. B, C, C, C. That's like a lot of foot tapping. Now I'm not saying you can play it slower. That's how fast the song goes. But you could do one, two, three, four, one, two. So that's called tapping your foot in cut time when you don't do every single beat with your foot, you only do one and three or on the half note. So whatever's more comfortable for you, but if you hear my foot going like that, that's because I don't want to do this anymore because my foot's tired, okay? So uh, let's start at 13, square 13. So find it on your paper and we will stop at square 21, which means you don't have to play 21. We stop there. This is the review from last week. Remember, we will have to speed this up so it sounds like the play along track, so it sounds like the real song. So if you can go a little faster, great. We're going to try to go all the same speed together here to get to it. Here we go. One, two, thirteen, play. tricky parts and 
then we'll add in, we'll go backwards. So let's find 16. Uh, actually, let's do 15 and 16, okay? 15 and 16. B, C, 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 F, E, C, B, C. Here we go, 15 and 16. Well, we'll do it a couple times in a row. That's called wrapping when we do the same thing over and over again to train your brain. So let's try it. 15 and 16. One, remember, it's a little tiny number, right? It's not a square. 15, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> Again, one, two, fifteen, go. Cool, skip ahead to nineteen. What we want to realize is that fifteen and nineteen are not the same. Okay, fifteen has three C's, nineteen only has two C's and a G. So don't make them the same. They're not. That's on purpose. Let me hear it. Nineteen and twenty. One. Two, ready, go. Again, 19, ready, go. Okay, so let's go uh, back to measure one. Now measure one, remember you're not making sounds with your instrument, you're doing other things. So we need to figure out how to hold our flute while we are clapping and stomping. So what I like to do is put it in the crook of my left arm so that I can pick it up really quick. So it's like this, and then like this, like this, okay? Now, you need to pick your strongest foot for stomping. We're not gonna do the double stomp. We're not gonna go left-right stomp. We're gonna, I like to use my right foot. I don't know why I'm left-handed, but I like to stomp with my right foot. So we gotta go stomp, stomp, clap, and you gotta be holding onto your instrument. The real question is how many times do we have to do this before you need to pick up your instrument? So I'm going to scan my eyes through, see if you can find the where you stop, the number of the measure number that you stop doing stomp, stomp, clap. It looks like they want you to stop in 12 so that you can play in 13. However, I think you're going to really need to stop more like 10. Maybe you keep doing your foot, but you get your instrument in your hands because I don't think there's enough time in just 12, but we'll see. So the way we keep track of how many times we've done it is we just say the measure number, okay? Yes, you can say it out loud. No one's really going to hear you, okay? It's better than playing, not than doing not enough stomp, stomp, claps, or just stomp, stomp, clapping forever, and then you can't figure out where you are. So we're going to say the little numbers. You can see there's numbers like 13 or 5 is in a square, so that might, you know, that's a good place to check in, but we'll just say all the numbers. Okay, so you're holding your flute in the crook of your arm. Your clappers and your stompers are ready. That's feet and hands. All right, let's try it. We're going to play, we're going to do measure one and play the first note of 13 to see how hard it is to pick up our instrument. All right, here we go. One, two, ready, go. Measure one. Measure two. It's slow on purpose right now. Three. Four. This is measure five and six and seven, eight, nine and ten. I'd get ready. Three, four, twelve, two, ready, play. Okay, now here's the thing. We've heard the play along track and we know that it's actually faster, right? I think on that track they're going two. Three, four, five, two, six, two, seven. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Nine, two, ten, two. Pick your instrument up and ready, go. Okay, so obviously we're not playing that fast today, but when we record, we will need to go that fast. Okay, so just keep that in the back of your mind. If you want to test it out with the play along track just for fun, that's okay. You don't need to record with it yet. Okay, this time we are starting at square five and be ready to play because we're going to play all the way to 21. So we do some stomping and clapping. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten-ish, eleven-ish. You're picking your instrument up. Twelve is nothing. If your feet happen to go stomp, stomp in twelve, it's not a big deal, but technically there's a rest. We're playing thirteen 
all the way to 21 because you know that part already. The hardest part for me is to not get too excited and then I, I get too excited and I start to go faster. We can't go faster because our fingers aren't going to be able to go faster. Well, mine can, but that's not fair to you guys, okay? So we got to keep it on the DL, keep it steady. All right, so starting at square five, you have your instrument in your the crook here. Measure five, all the way to 21. One, two, ready, go. Five and six and seven, eight, nine and 10 and 11, three, four, one, two, Ready, go. You have only a little bit left, so let's finish it out. Literally, the only part you have left to learn is we will, we will rock you. Look what you have at 21. Let's say the notes, okay? Pointing at 21. One, two, say the notes. E flat, D, C, B flat, C, C, three, four, next line, ready, go. E flat, D, C, B flat, C, C. Good thing we practiced those scales because that's basically your scale, right? All the notes down in order. Let's try it. This is 21. We will, we will rock you. One, two, 21. play me 19 to 29. So this is little square 19. 19 is not a big, 19 is not a square at all. It's a little number. Here we go. 19. One, two, ready, go. where we just stopped. Technically, you would go to 29, but it ends in a rest, right? So that includes the stomping and the clapping. You pick your instrument up, and then you play. Now, we want to make sure we're not, like, pausing in between the notes or pausing in between the sections because when we play along to the track um, eventually and record, you can't have any weird pauses or else I can't use your video, okay? So I can't wait to hear your videos for Power Rock measures 1 to 29.